Now, this past Sunday, South Africa saw a brand new Miss SA being crowned in a special Diamond Jubilee ceremony at the, men, the Menly Main Sun Arena. Now, she's uh, beautiful, she's gracious, and she is our brand new Miss South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's give her a warm round of applause. Tamron Green, oh, come on, God. come on. Still wearing that crown. I guess do, I decided do, to wear it for you today. I you, think you should, because, you know, you're going to soon go to events, and then the crown, you're just going to wear the sash. So, but everyone will know you're Miss yeah. South Africa. I, I, I was wondering, though, do you Get to keep it do you like take it home i take it home yes oh. but i keep it in a safe in place. a safe okay Very good safe good, place. good. <laughs> yeah. it's beautiful eh well it is stunning it's absolutely stunning and um i know the morning after your crowning you posted a picture on instagram yes. where you had the crown on and that also now means your journey is going to take you moving to gauteng yeah you are oh. from paul yes. how is what do you think you're going to miss most about cape town you know I was saying just this morning when we got here, when I walked out, I said, it's such a, a feeling of relaxation in Cape Town. In Joburg, it's so busy. Mm. And I think I'm really going to miss that. Yeah. And I'm going to miss just driving along the beach because that used to be one of my things, you know, to just stress relief and have a good time. I'm going to miss it a lot. Now it's just traffic you know, and traffic. I, I, and I've got a new car now as well. <laughs> oh. And I'm just like, I need to figure out this place. I need to, you know? <laughs> it takes time. You, you've, uh, you know what, you're not even one week into the job. So yeah. it's going to take some time. Yeah. I hope so. No, I, hope, I hope it goes. <laughs> yeah. What, what has been the best part of this since, since the crowding now? Obviously, the moment itself. Yes. That was amazing, yes. right? What has been the best part of this? I think the best part is just knowing that that my dream came true yeah. and that now I have this platform to do what I want to do yeah. and make that impact. Mm -hmm. That has been the best part. Oh yeah. my goodness. I think that's unbelievable and I think you're going to, you know, you really, really utilize this platform that you have. Now, I know that the setup of the competition also changed slightly Definitely. where there's now a Miss South Africa universe and a Miss World South Africa. Yes. Um, how did the ladies feel about the change? Yeah. I think everyone was very happy mm -hmm. because often, you know, in the past with the first princess and the second princess, <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you wouldn't really hear a lot about them. Mm. And when it came to last year when Demi, you know, went to Miss Universe, Adia just had one month to prepare because she, she didn't know she's yeah. going to enter Miss World. So they wanted to choose, you know, each lady that suits the respective platforms and, you know, immediately start training them to to head in that, in that way. So mm -hmm. I think every lady was happy about that. Yeah. I can imagine now that your schedule is going to be jam-packed. It's from already this crazy. time in the morning <laughs> until very late at night, you'll be, um, of course, attending to duties and things like that. What are the kind of things that you are going to be doing to keep yourself grounded? Like the stuff that just makes Tamron Tamron. Yes. Tamarind. I'm a family person, hey. Yeah? So just a phone call with my parents, with my dad and mom, you know, it keeps me grounded. Yeah. And my sister and my brother, as well as my relationship with God. Yeah. yeah. So I'll get down on my knees and I'll pray whenever I'm feeling anxious and overwhelmed. And, and that always helps me. You yeah. know, I have a lot of faith and that keeps me grounded. And that will also keep you going. Yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. definitely. Was the family there? Yes. On the day? <laughs> yes, they were, and I could see them shouting. And, you know when you're on the stage and you, you have to stop yourself from looking? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're and waiting, because <laughs> your brother is standing and he's shouting, and you just have to be focused. But it was so much fun. Yes, they were there. Oh, and I saw them immediately after the crowning. My yeah. mom had no words. Aww. She was just crying, and I was Aww. crying. And my dad, you know, the macho man of the house, I'm so proud of you. And Please tell me he shed a tear. No, I don't think he did. I have to ask him that question. I don't think he did. I'm sure he did a tear. Yeah. Well, he's so proud. Yeah. Your parents, everyone is so proud of you. And if you had to give, you know, the younger you advice yes. or some encouragement, think knowing now where you are, what would yes. you say to yourself? I think for personally growing up, you know, I always, my challenge was that I knew I looked a certain way and people also knew that. And, you know, they say that you have an easy life if you're beautiful, but it's not necessarily the case. You have your own challenges. I, I was always conscious because I'd walk into a room and people would always just judge me. They'd always think I'm privileged or, you know, I come from a certain background because of the way that I look. And I often held myself back because of that. I always yeah. had to try harder to try to get people to know who I am, like in the first five minutes. And I think literally only maybe two years ago, or three years ago, I became very comfortable with who I am, and I think it's because of my relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And I told myself, he gave me this for a reason. Yeah. Use it. So if I could tell myself that at a younger age, you know, be comfortable in your skin, 
then that would be the message that I want to give to every young woman out there today. Oh. Don't hide away from it. Don't that. hide beautiful. away from it. Amen yeah. to that. Especially in this month, the youth month that we're yeah. starting to celebrate today. And uh, once again, we wish you all of the best um, in your year of reign. Uh, we cannot wait to see Thank all the you. wonderful achievements that you will attain. And you can follow, of course, Tamron at Tamron Green uh, on social media. We've got a beautiful picture of her on uh, Twitter. Click like, follow, all of those things. It's going to be an amazing journey. Ladies and gentlemen, our Miss South Africa, Tamron Green. Come on. Thank you.